Hi, this is Dean with Pretty Productive. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today what we're going to be doing is a plan with me for the week of January 23rd, I think it is, through the, I guess I should have looked at that before I started the camera. So 23rd through the 29th of January. Um, I have two planners that I'm using this year. The Hobonichi Cousin is kind of my overview planner. I have not been using the daily pages, so I'm not sure why. Uh, last year, those were kind of like my log. So what I've been doing this year is, on the Hobonichi weeks, is it's not pretty, <laughs> literally not pretty, but everything that happens during the day, like my, you know, more of a personal nature goes in here, like, you know, that I talk to my sisters or I went to see my mom or things like that. So it started out a little bit neater. It got really messy. And then I kind of just have two to-do lists. This is my personal versus my work. Um, so I think... This is kind of going to be a little bit more of my personal, kind of just throw in my bag, take with me everywhere, make my notes in. And my Hobonichi cousin will be, and it still is, open on my desk when I'm here. So that's how that week turned out. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just walk you through. Um, this layout worked really well for me. I ended up not writing my priorities in because I was kind of just taking notes in my Hobonichi weeks during the week. Um, but it was nice to see a snapshot of when my calls were. Um, and then I added in some things for the weekend. It did keep me on track for my to-do list. I got everything done. I ended up not going to the grocery store, <laughs> but you know, we figured out meals. And then my inbox still is a hot mess. And then I'll write my meals in. I did absolutely no tracking for water, but I did drink a lot more water this week because I just, took my glass of tea off my work desk and put water there from noon on and it did force me to drink a lot more water. I did work a lot of hours last week, um, which has kind of been the norm lately, but um, in the next three weeks I'll fi be finishing up this contract and then I'm not going to be working, so I'm a little bit excited. And then I have here this pouch and it has my most used pens, my most used stickers, um, that I do and then these three supplemental notebooks I did start planning my daughter's shower this weekend and that will be in February and then when I'm done with that then I'll be using these supplements a little bit more so one is for my other daughter's wedding this one is for wellness which is my focus as soon as I stop working all the time and then pretty productive is my shop so those are in here as well. And then when I do leave the house with this, I just stick this in here, zip it up, and throw it in my tote. So it kind of is all in one, which is nice. So let's get started. Um, this is the Friction Erasable Pen. This is a limited edition one that I got from Jet Pens. I had done an order for refills and I saw these, so I bought um, two different ones, kind of a blush pink and then kind of an ivory one, which I cannot find right now. Um, and they are in the 0.5 refill. I like the 0.4 better, but I didn't want to waste this one. So as soon as this is done, I'll replace it with the 0.4 tip. Um, the other thing I did was I went ahead and took all of the stickers that I had in that other, um, kind of the pink sparkly one and put them in here. This is from AliExpress. It holds the four by six. And I was finding with the other one, I was trying to stuff more in there and they were all folding. So I have the stickers from my shop and then the other ones that I use, these are all freebies. I put all of my freebies in here because that forces me to kind of look at them and use them. And then the ones that I use like the most often, like for visiting my mom or things like that. So those are in here as well. And then what I, this binder has my weekly kits, tabs, things like that. So I'm still working off the January kit from the Ponder Spot. I really love her kits because you can really get through the whole month. I do have a subscription and in my 
description of the video down below. I do have a link for her shop for 10% off if you are a new um, customer of hers and you can use my link to get that bonus. Okay, so I am going to use this one. I always think it's funny that I use things with coffee because I don't drink coffee, but I love the look of coffee. <laughs> I just don't like the taste of coffee. And her stickers are sized for the Hobonichi Cousin, which are nice. It's a little bit thinner of a column than in a regular 7x9 planner. And then, let's see here. Let's have it this week. Now I have goals for this year, which I never set goals for last year, and I am struggling to stay on task. I think that was it's being caused from a whole year of not having goals and just kind of doing what I want to do. So um, I do need to rein that in. I need to rein my spending in, and I need to definitely rein in my. Um, food that I'm eating. Um, I did a weight loss program. I have only gained one pound back, which really, when you look at what I've been eating, that's pretty amazing because honestly, I have not been good. And I worry for when I stop working that um, it's going to be even worse. So I will try to track my meals again, or my water again. I'm going to just put a little bit of deco in there. And I just want to put this. I really leave room for it. Okay. I'll have to use it next week or I will have to store it for a whole year so okay and then the way I like to do this layout is just kind of work hours my to-do list that has been working really well I originally learned that from Julie with plan to create and I know she's doing something totally different now but I still really like that method been the most efficient for me in this planner. If you watched my channel for a while, you know that this is my year three in the Hobonichi Cousin. I started with a love-hate relationship with it. Um, I may, if I don't work next year, which I'm kind of planning on staying retired, <laughs> if that sounds weird, um, I retired from my first career in November of 2020. I took some time off to be with my parents that were in um, kind of bad health. And then I went back to work very part-time in December of 21. And then I took a full-time job in July of 22. And then I'll be finishing up that contract in February. And so I, Originally my thought was to go back to work, but I really am at the thought process that I really just kind of want to take a break, kind of work on my wellness, get some things done around my house. We have a lot of projects that we kind of put to the side and then just spend time with my family, my daughter who's going to have a baby in April. So I'm kind of looking forward to just a little bit of time off, honestly. So these are the date covers. Um, these are on transparent paper and I have kind of a color theme that I created based on the colors that are used in the Planner Spot weekly kits. Um, I have not listed these yet. Um, I have a lot of work to do on my shop right now. So um, my plan is to list them because I do get a lot of questions and, and requests for them. I just have not had a couple minutes to do that, but I will, I promise. I'm going to put them back in here so I don't have to come find them later on. And then on my boxes, which also match, I separated them by my original colors and the ones that I use um, to match this. So I'm going to use the tan. They're really called the neutrals. I should call them by the right names. And I think the gray. 
Yeah, I'm going to use gray, not putty this time. And then the neutral. Okay. I'm going to start with putting my work hours in. We use 942 and Tombow marker. I normally start my day at seven. Which I live in Phoenix. It was 39 degrees this morning when I got up. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I am not ready for this. Um, I'm supposed to warm up a little bit, but my normal was either before I started working full time was to go to the gym in the morning, which is like 15 minutes away from my house, if that. And then on the mornings that it was still nice out, I would get up and walk. And I really prefer to be outside walking versus at the gym, but in the middle of the day in Phoenix, obviously you can't, but right now it's just too cold and it's so dark if I were to try to go at six in the morning. Now during the summertime, I could walk at six in the morning and it's already, 85 degrees and sun's up. So I'll have to kind of <laughs> figure out how to get back into a fitness routine. And then for my, these are what I call my column headers and these are my most used ones. Just gonna go ahead and pop these down. I've gotten into a really, um, consistent routine with work of my start and stop. I'm really trying to be more, you know, at three or four, I'm done. I close my door. I walk away because I was finding that I was working a lot later, maybe than I needed to. And then by the end of the week, I was really just tired. I was working overtime. And so I'm really just trying to keep it within the 40 hours. I think last week I worked 38 and that was with working only half a day on Monday because of the holidays. So it's working well for me. And then down here, it's just... And I do have the English version of the Hobonichi Cousin for 2023 but I kind of ignore the time part of it. It is in military time and I really just don't <laughs> think that way. I always put my work one on Friday because when I'm done Friday, I need to input my hours. Um, that was new for me. I you know, spent years salaried, so what, it didn't matter how many hours I worked, it was the same pay and this is this year has been my first year of working hourly. Well, actually the end of last year and this year. Um, okay, social. And then my to-do. I did get a lot of things done. I do really like having my to-do list out in front of me all day long because if I have a little bit of a break between calls, I'll look on my to-do list to see what I can check off. So that part is working very well for me. I got into a really bad habit of writing things on post-it notes. Um, and then I would just have stacks of post-it notes on my desk. So I'm really trying to break that habit. Um, let's see. So I do have mixed sheets if you, you know, wanted like three or four of each one. Um, and I'm trying to finish off these so that I don't have bits and pieces in my stash over here. Okay. So those are my column headers. I'm going to start with my work hours and then how I've kind of been dividing this is the top part are calls that we have on teams and then I kind of just break it here for priorities. Pr 
priorities I fill in as I go because it changes. And even though this is an erasable pen, I really just like to make sure that it's right. So I'm just gonna write priorities for Monday. And first thing I know I need to do when I get into work tomorrow is send updated file. Update daily file. So um, I sent the wrong file on Friday because I was really brain dead. So I need to send the correct one uh, first thing on Monday morning. And then I do a daily sales file and I'll just update it from the weekend. So those are the first two things I need to get done in the morning. As far as calls, there is only one. And that is at, I'm just gonna look at my Outlook calendar for a minute. That is at 12.30. And there is supposed to be a deep dive call, but I cannot find the invite, so I'll have to ask on that one. <laughs> okay, on Tuesday, we start at 7.30 with calls. Um, there's an 11 o'clock training. Eleven thirty connect. Twelve o'clock launch. One o'clock connect. And a one thirty touch base. It is amazing that we get anything done sometimes. All we do is on the phone. Okay, 12 o'clock on Wednesday, VM. One o'clock, calm. Two o'clock, calendar. Okay, I do have a dentist appointment at 4.40 on Wednesday. I'm gonna write that in. Don't forget. And then on Thursday, nine o'clock, just canceled that one so I'm gonna leave that one off there's a one o'clock Dillard's and then Friday we normally don't have calls on Friday but of course they put one on this Friday so nine o'clock okay so Looking at this, I'll probably go see my mom on Thursday because this will be a longer day and if the calls go late, then I don't want to be late. So I'll visit mom on Thursday. I have a HelloFresh delivery on Monday. Okay, and then this weekend, we have lunch with a friend. I believe on Sunday is what we decided. I'll put that over here. And then Saturday, I need to get my daughter's dog. So, might pick him up Friday night 
definitely Saturday morning for sure. Okay, so looking at my to-do list, pretty much got everything off list off the list last week. Um, I still have not cleaned out my inbox, but I figured in three weeks I'm leaving, they will just, just you know take everything out of my inbox for me. So <laughs> I'm gonna just save everything that I think the team will need in a Teams folder and just let them wipe out the rest. Um, unless I get some time, then I can start wiping things out. I need to work on, I'm gonna put this one here at a glance, Milk and Dillard. Okay, so for to do, I need to follow up on my parents' timeshare. I need to mail a package of something I sold from Akari. Cleaning, I just do the same things each week. It just depends on which day. I'm gonna do it. to get all the laundry done today, which is Sunday, which is nice. And then work. I just kind of, I've been actually going into the app and putting my hours in as I go each day. And that kind of helps me to remember what days, like what time I worked each day. And then I just kind of have to still remind myself to um, save and send the hours on Friday. And then social will be budget with me, plan with me. Okay, to call. I got a lot of this done the week before too. So I'm gonna leave that blank for right now. I think that's it. I do want really wanna track water though. Any else? Okay, so that is my completed week as it stands right now, and then I'll be filling it in. Everything in here gets transferred into my Hobonichi weeks, and then that's kind of my go-to take with me everywhere and take all my notes in during the, during the day while I'm working. So thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, let me know. Take care, and I'll see you in my next video. I'm buzzing, let's drink up your death look like